Um, what are you wanting to do more than anything on earth? To get close to the elephants and give them a hug and I don't know, just talk to them, I think. This is why we are here today, guys. My mom's goal in life has always been to come and play with the elephants. So this is on her bucket list. Like always, I always encourage you guys to find things that are on your bucket list and challenge yourself to make it there. So today we are doing just that. I we would are like to give them a bath. Wow. Wow, really? Well, not really a bath like I do the dogs. Because that would be difficult. This is gonna be an interesting day today, guys. Here we go, roll the intro. Okay, we have finally arrived. We are at the preserve, it's Stonewall, where we're about to have a wonderful encounter with elephants. I can't wait, mom clearly can't wait. It's gonna be a very fun adventure today. And I look like I'm in full on tourist mode. We don't wanna miss a beat. We are adventuring right away. We're off to the restrooms. And I know that sounds really silly, but the fact that this is the path to get there with so many neat looking things, very nice. Look at the beauty of this green grass even. Um, you're probably saying, why do I care about the grass? It's because it's Texas and uh, in the Texas heat, a lot of things go brown real quick. So to see something that is this well taken care of just makes me so happy. While here at the preserve, we're going to be doing a full interaction and it's about an hour and a half to two hours. You do have to book these online through the reservation system, but I'm just going to tell you a little story. We had originally booked this trip for March, right before all the craziness happened. And here at the preserve, they understood and completely allowed for us to change our reservation to a later date. They're just really friendly guys. And I was so happy because this experience is one that will last a lifetime and have memories to carry on for years and years and years to come. So now we're about to go right back across here and look at this store. Now, stores usually are those little places where you find all the little hidden gems that you never knew you needed, but suddenly you gotta take with you. So I can only imagine with the elephants, that's gonna be the case. Wait a second though, I see something over here. There are giraffes. I didn't know they had giraffes. I had no idea. When did this happen? How did I miss this? I see them. What? It's right there. There's a giraffe. And over here, there's a giraffe. What? Mind blown. Here, they are actually parking everyone. So there's someone who tells you where to park as soon as you come in. And then afterwards, you check in over here. From there, I think that we're going to move over to the pavilion where they do a short program. And then, who knows? Here we go. What will we find? Nobody knows. So many elephants. Oh, elephant cookie cutters. Okay, so mom just found these and they are so cute. Look at this. So these are originally just regular shirts that were painted by the elephants. Look at that. So you can have your own unique piece of art. Rosie painted this one. There you go. The actual process that they paint. Look at this. It's so cool. And this is used as a form of enrichment. Lots of different places do this. Right here we have stickers and postcards of all the different elephants. Aren't they adorable? We're going to get to interact with each one of these. That's so cool. I'll be coming back to get some postcards. I just didn't want to carry my whole bag with me for this because it gets heavy. So we will, we will be back. It's getting close to time so we're going to go toward the pavilion. Mom, how excited are you? I'm pretty excited. I can't really contain. I don't look that excited right now, but I am. I'm kind of shivering. Let me just tell you, in the car, she was like, <laughs> we got close to the road. The directions started saying that we only had half a mile and she started moving around like this. She is psyched. But She's just cool. I might get scared of them. I don't really get scared. We all know that only elephants should wear ivory and that poaching is a major concern for both species. But an even more pressing concern for the Asian elephant is the battle with humans over the land and resources that they both need to survive. 
As the human population in Asia continues to increase, the elephants are being forced into smaller and smaller areas that are unable to support their huge appetites. Oh, well, hello, ladies. <laughs> These are exercises that they're doing every single day to help make sure that they stay fit and healthy. Well, hello. Now we're gonna get to know everybody on a bit more of an individual level. That would be Ty. And, okay. I guess Ty is going to announce herself today. Let her do her thing there. She really does know how to get the party started. To wake everybody up a little bit. Before you start any art project, is to wash your trunk. For pretty obvious reasons, if we're being honest here. It looks like Becky's been having a very good time in the mud. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get her all cleaned up and ready to go. And then Katie is going to take the color and she's going to put it around the outside of Becky's trunk. Now Katie's goal is to get a nice smooth, even coating on Becky and not too much on Joanne. And then Katie's going to put her finger on Becky's finger. And yes, that is called a finger. We are going to press right onto that canvas. And that, folks, is how you get a beautiful elephant smooch. How did she do, everyone? Very nice. Again, everybody, thank you so much for coming out today. Now, there are a few things that I would love for you to pay attention to as Joanne gets started with Miss Becky's bath. First of all, notice how easily Becky responds to the different cues that Joanne is giving her. This might come as a bit of a shock to you, but elephants are large animals, okay? They're actually kind of massive. But you know what else is big? A horse. Now, if you want to look at the bottom of a horse's foot, you can physically pick that foot up and look at the bottom of it. But we can't do that with the elephants. We need their help to make sure that they get the care that they need and deserve. Everything from picking up a foot to lowering a head, these are all things where elephants can be active participants in their own care, and that helps us make sure that all of their needs are met. Anybody ever heard of body weight resistance exercises? Yeah, okay. So for most people, they've heard of that, but but the thing is with body weight resistance exercise, the way that it works is you're using your own body weight, working against gravity to create opportunities to build and maintain muscle, right? Becky is one of our smallest elephants. She is over 7,000 pounds, okay? So you can use that body weight to your advantage when you're doing different exercise routines with her to help build and maintain muscle. Even something as simple as picking up a foot. Think about that working against gravity and that's creating a lot of opportunities to exercise those muscles. Oh my gosh, we get to wash It's almost the our turn to wash the elephant. She's so happy right now, guys. You have no words. What did you think, Mom? That was pretty awesome. I think I could have done that a little longer though, but she was so still. Yeah, she was so good. So now we're gonna move on and we're going to be meeting Rosie. And I'm really excited about this one as well. So here we go, let's go meet Rosie. an elephant now. Oh, is that exciting? Yes, it was. What did you think about Rosie? She was awesome. She was really, she was fun. What did she feel like? She, 
well, I don't know. She wasn't just super soft, but her hair was really fine. Yeah, it was it was kind of interesting. The others seem to be hanging out and just waiting so patiently. Oh, they look like they're so majestic. Something fun about Rosie over here is they said that she is quite the little chatterbox and she squeaks a lot and that's her specific sound that she makes. Some of the others make different tones, but she's a little squeaker and that's kind of fun. There she went right there. That's that's her sound. So we learned another fact and mom wants to share it. Now Rosie and I are the same age. <laughs> so that's fun. They just had a whole hug it out moment. And I'm going to make sure that I put the pictures that we took right, right here. Here are our photos right here. I mean, that in itself, along with the bath, just made this entire experience worth it. Wouldn't you say that it made it worth it just to be able to take photos with oh, Rosie? Oh, I know. Yes, yeah, she was awesome. Yeah. Yeah forms of exercise, how important that is. So we like to take advantage of every opportunity we can to provide these ladies with exercise and bath time is a great example of that. Remember the three types of exercise I was talking about? We had cardio, strength training, and stretching. So let's see if we can watch Becky demonstrating right there. Very nice. We have a beautiful side stretch here. Really working on those side muscles. She can do that on either side, making sure she's nice and balanced. And then watch here. There's that body weight resistance. Do you see the muscle tone and the strength that she has? And again, watch as Becky is moving. You're going to notice the fluid motion that she has, and that's really our goal with everything, is helping these ladies maintain that fluid motion. motion, bringing that off of the nail itself. Once you got it up high enough, you can actually lay your ass down flat, file that cuticle almost flush with the nail so it's nice and smooth. You can actually get in between. touched the elephant, washed the elephant, took a photo with the elephant, and now we're back in here for the next portion of our tour. Let's find out what's next. Giant tortoises, rhino, back. African elephants are going to have a dip or a saddleback. Let's count toenails. On the front foot, we have one, two, three, Oh, five. Okay, we're gonna check the back feet. Like, well, they're there. We have one, two, three, four. It's a little bit tricky. We have five on the front and four on the back. African elephants are going to have one fewer nail front and back. Let's look at the end of the trunk. We have a finger on top. We talked about that a little bit earlier. 
Now, the Asian elephants are going to have a thick, fleshy pad at the base of their trunk, almost like the base of your palm. African elephants have two fingers. They have a top finger and a bottom finger. They'll use the end of their trunk more like pinchers. Pounds of food per elephant per day. That is a lot of food. They are strict herbivores, so all they're eating is plant matter. They also only digest about 60% of what they eat, which means, haha, <laughs> yeah, 40% is coming out the other end. My ball, where's the elephant? Look at this, she, she's so excited right now. You have no idea. <laughs> amazing artwork that we just saw created on a shirt and now someone will be able to purchase this and take it home with them and of course anything that you purchase here does go back to helping out with the facility the need to preserve and also the conservation effort of everything we learned a lot today and uh, we're not quite finished yet we have one more photo up with all five elephants and then we're gonna go to the car, we're gonna get our money, and we're gonna go get our postcards. Now, I always do random postcard giveaways. This is definitely gonna be one of them, so follow my Instagram. That's all I can say. I'm gonna be doing something over there where I send you an elephant. I'm so excited. About to take our photo with all of them, and then after with that, they five. do the snack time. So we're gonna stick around for that as well, because snack time did you not hear them they're gonna do snack time for them they're gonna get to eat yes yeah so what are they eating i don't know what snack time is i guess we're gonna have to stick around and find out so after this don't go away there's gonna be some extra stuff on here yep mom's excited look at mom's face she's so excited right now like she's <laughs> she's got like this perma smile thing going on yeah of course yeah I'm going to give you a picture with five elephants. You've never had your picture with five elephants before? Never. Never? Never. And you want to? Yes. You're so excited? Of course. <laughs> what makes you so excited about it? Uh, because it's cool. It's cool? How cool is it? Um, I'm a scale of one to ten. Five. Oh, ten. It's just a ten? It's not an eleven? Come on. No, you said one to ten. I'm clearly a rule follower. It's a 52 on a scale of 1 to 10. Let's just be real. This be snack time? I think it is. Everyone gets a photo after the experience is over with all of the lovely ladies. Isn't that fun? That's such a fun experience. Guys, look, they're getting the snacks ready. Okay. 
Okay, it is snack time and these ladies are off. We have a delicious variety on the menu today, bananas, carrots, and watermelon. And as you can see, Dixie has wasted no time with the watermelon. Smushed it right away so that all those flavors can get nice and mixed in. Delicious. Here goes Rosie. What is gonna be her strategy for eating this? Let's see. She's gonna hang on to it, maybe take a big bite out of it. Maybe the whole thing in one bite. What is she going to do? Oh, oh, did you guys hear that pop? That was pretty cool. There goes Kitty. She's working on hers. Oh, very nice, Kitty. Gotta help her neighbors clean up. They're very helpful like that. Notice how she's kind of eaten the insides of the watermelon there, gotten the juicy parts. Watermelon juice splashing. So deliberate, they're sucking all that up and then she missed her mouth. Look at Kitty. She's so helpful getting the dishes for us down there. See, they do enjoy making a nice big fun mess. Aren't they sweet? <laughs> This is the real reason that we are here. Other than all the fun and games, this is so important. If you look at the sign, it tells a little bit about the Asian elephants. Now, this is a really sad number, 35,000. That is not near as many as were even here 10 years ago. So we want to make sure that by sharing this video, that we share the education of the elephants themselves and the amazingness that they are. Programs like this are so important. They give you that human interaction with the animals, which allows you to bond and see firsthand these gentle giants. And I think that that's one of the things that I appreciated most about coming here today, getting to interact and really see how well that the animals exist together and can exist with us as humans. We're their biggest threat out of all reality. So instead of being their threat, we should be their friend. We should be their ally. And I think we can all take that away from here and just truly enjoy the experience. Thanks guys for coming along with me to the Elephant Sanctuary here in Stonewall. The preserve is an amazing place and I definitely recommend that you come out. Now let's go get one final word from mom because let's face it, her experience was really unique here. Mom, what were your final thoughts on the preserve? I got to play ball with an elephant. There you have it. That's pretty much the gist of it. Nowhere else could she have played ball with an elephant, washed an elephant, or even hugged an elephant. But here at the preserve, you can. And clearly, by mom's excitement, she is happy. If you have enjoyed today's adventure, make sure that you do subscribe, leave a thumbs up on this video, and check out the links in the description below. I'm linking all of the preserve as well as my interactive map so you can go on lots of adventures like this in the future with me. Till next time, guys. Bye! Postcard time. I'm excited. There's so many cute postcards, and uh, I'm just needing some. Got postcards and stickers. So these were just too adorable. I couldn't pass them up. One of these is gonna go on my water bottle and I'm probably gonna do one of these as a giveaway. So stay tuned.